going on everybody welcome back to his channel we have a pickup video for you guys today this is from the first ever beantown card show in revere massachusetts uh just outside of boston for those that aren't familiar with the area i'm very excited i was able to grab the majority of this some of these were from trades the day before i'm just kind of clumping it all into one video but i would say 92 percent of what you're going to see is from that card show so let's just slide things out of the way here and let's dive into it. I'm very excited to show you guys some stuff that I was able to grab. A lot of good stuff, a lot of risky stuff, a lot of safe bets. And yeah, let's just kind of go, go for it. So we got a Joe Burrow SGC 95 Prism Emergent. Yeah, it's an insert, it's an emergent, but it's still Joe Burrow. It's a rookie and it's a 95. So who's complaining there? Black Prism, J Jetta's SGC 95, super clean. This dude is in the case for the best wide receiver in the game. People are looking at Devontae Adams, Cooper Cup. Don't sleep on J Jetta's. And then not one, not two. Uh, hold on. Not three, but four Trey Lance select rookie cards. I picked these up on the show was two days. It was a Saturday and Sunday show. I picked these up on Saturday. Obviously, the news of his ankle broke. Uh, what was it? Two minutes left in the first quarter on Sunday, of week two. So, yeah, here we are. But we have a nice select 9 5. We have another 9 5. This is the club level. I like the club level a lot this year, actually. We have. A premier level nine and then a rookie swatch five of 99 guys this is a jersey number that is jersey number match so I mean there's a lot of weight to hold in a card like this where it is a SGC 10 but yeah um, he's gonna be a super hold right now I will post these on Instagram for like a story sale with the majority of stuff here will be on there as well You've already seen the story sale by the time that this video is out. But yeah, terrible, heartbreaking news about Trey Lance. Uh, let me know. Reach out to me via social media or drop a comment down below. What do you guys think the Trey Lance market is going to look like with his new injury? But moving on, we have a Mac Jones. This is a premier level. I'm, no, I'm trying to get used to the new premier club and field level look of select this year, but... Here's a Mac Jones 9.5 from SGC. Here's a silver Jalen Waddle. This is a premier, premier level. SGC 10, like this, he had a huge day on Sunday as the Dolphins came back to beat the Ravens. Here's a Trevor Lawrence. This is a concourse, concourse. Trevor Lawrence here, SGC 9. Big day for him in week two, beating the Colts. Another Jalen Waddle. This is a Silver Prism, also Premier Level, 9.5. So we have a 10 and a 9.5 right there. Pretty sweet. Switch it up to basketball real quick. We have a Disco Prism Courtside Colt Anthony, 9.5. That is slick. That is super duper clean like that. And then quickly back to football, we have Tom Brady, winning ticket, SGC, 10. Super cool card. All right, moving on to our second stack here. We have a True Gem Bowman Chrome David Ortiz. True Gem 9.5 from Beckett. 9.5s across the board. This is a green refractor from 2014 Prism. Great thing I love about this. Numbered 48 of 75. Absolutely stunning right there. 48 of 75, David Ortiz. Doing the whole arm in the pit. Spit on the gloves and clap. Very iconic of Ortiz. Here's a Silver Prism SGC9 Sensations Tom Brady. Super clean card. Love the colorful background here throughout the card. Definitely love a lot of color we're getting from Select this year. I do believe it is something that Select is very known for and what draws people to Select. But I think this year with the tie-dyes and then Sensations... I think they're taking it a step up a little bit as we wrap up 2021 products. But here's a Jordan Alvarez 2020 Tops rookie card, SGC 10. 
Beautiful clean card here. Nothing crazy, but the dude just hits home runs, and that is his motto. And he's good at it. He's young and he's good. SGC 10 Silver Prism. This is a club level of Mac Jones. Very nice here. Him and the Patriots were able to get the W on Sunday beating the Steelers. Here we have a Zaire Smith 2018 National Treasures. This is 6 out of 10. On-card auto PSA 9. Super clean card. Super fresh. Feels like a bet. Honestly, go. these thick PSA cards feel like Beckett cards. They close my eyes right now. Honestly, it feels the same. All right, we have another Prism Emergent. This one is Justin Jefferson. Again, it's Jay Jettas. I mean, rookie of him. He is arguably the best wide receiver in the league, or at least in that conversation. And to get a PSA 9 of him in the Emergent. Not too shabby for the deal I got. Jalen Brown, Fast Break Prism. PSA 9 from 2017 Prism. Green Prism, Jordan Poole, PSA 9. Had this card, traded it, went around a few different people, and then I found its way back. Then it found its way back home to me. 2016 Panini Donruss Malcolm Brogdon. Yes, I finally got my hands on a Malcolm Brogdon rookie. People are high on the Celtics this year. People are high on Malcolm Brogdon. And I can't wait to see what his market looks like around here, here in New England. Here's a Luka Doncic Green Mosaic PSA 10. Honestly, I'm kind of reverting only to PSA 10s with a few exceptions. I know the majority of these pickups have been 9s. Actually, all of them up to this point right here have been 9s. However, again, PSA 10s, they do hold value, but the PSA 9s are kind of dipping or they have dipped, fell off a cliff. That's a video for another day. But again, depending on who it is and for the price point, PSA 9s could still be worth it. Here's a Luca second year. And then, let me get this out of the way. Slide that. Throw that back here. This one's absolutely gorgeous. A Team Trio Materials, Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow, Justin Jefferson, National Treasures. Gorgeous looking card. Crispy, clean. Look at this. The enclosed player worn slash used material is guaranteed. And it is numbered 10 of 25. Too bad none of their numbers were 10 in college, but you know what? That's all right. This is still a beautiful card. Gorgeous looking card. I know I'm an Alabama fan, guys, but I, I do like that a lot. Here's a Moses Moody Pink Mosaic Scripts Auto, rumored to be numbered to 25. I've looked at the checklist. I've tried to do a ton of research on this. It is technically not numbered anywhere on the card. But if you check the checklist, I believe it is numbered to 25. I'll save the, the Pokemon to the end, actually. I'll keep, I'll stick with sports for now. Jason Tatum, Prism Base. Justin Herbert, Premier. Premier level select base. Najee Harris, Neon Green, Pulsar Prism. Yeah, we're going to fly through these guys. Adley Rushman, Bowman Chrome first. Brian Robinson, Prestige Auto, 91 of 99 in his Bama jersey, Roll Tide. Hopefully he gets back on the field fairly soon. Pink Optic, Najee Harris. James Wiseman, Reactive, uh, Yellow Reactive Mosaic Prism. I know it's a mouthful, but gorgeous looking card. The yellow with the, you know, the Warriors, they just look super clean. Definitely sending that one out to TGA for their flow label. Scotty Barnes, Prism Base Rookie. Tom Brady Select Base from this year, right? Yep, this year. We have a couple. Tom Brady. Here's an orange field level. Here's a light blue field level. And here is a light blue die cut. Super clean card. They're all about $20 a pop here. Uh, very clean. Obviously, these two are in the Patriots jerseys. These ones are not. This one isn't. No complaints, though. No complaints at all. We have an out of 25 Patrick Mahomes out of Chronicles Recon. Crazy thing about this. It is 16 of 25, guys. One off of the jersey number. That is nuts. Only if it was 15 of 25. 
Then we got a bunch of Tom Brady cards from both the Buccaneers and the Patriots. Here's a nice 2003 weekly wrap up. Tom Brady. Then here's a base prism. Two base prisms. Three base prisms. And then we got, what is this from 2019 Legacy? Nice right there. This is from 2019. It was both from 2019, right? Oh, yeah. This is the, like, the base and this is Lasting Legacies. Here's the winning ticket. This is the raw version. Here's, this is from this year's Legacy, 2022. And then I kind of uh, alluded to it a little bit, but here's a couple of Pokemon cards. Radiant Blastoise and Mewtwo V-Star. Slowly, slowly, slowly getting into Pokemon here at the shop. It has become very popular. And not gonna lie, although I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh kid, it's a little fun. It is a little fun. Here's some CGC slabs. Uh, Galarian Surfetched from 2020. Here is a 1997 here comes Team Rocket, Japanese Hollow. Cool card right here. I don't know too much about Pokemon. I am trying to learn as I go. But I don't know. This card's from 97. It's pretty clean. 7-5. Not that bad, I don't think. And here is a 2020 Bolt Hound V Japanese version. This is a CGC 9.5. These do not have the subgrades on them, unfortunately. Uh, which is a little bit of a turnoff, but, you know, CGC and their subgrades are not too, too bad. I actually kind of like it for only Pokemon. I don't know about Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic. Haven't seen those yet, or at least in person. I've seen them online, but I would not recommend submitting CGC for sports cards. But let me uh, clean everything up here. Let me put it all right here in the front for the outro, and I will see you guys in three, two, one. And we're back. Look at that. Just like it never happened. Well, I appreciate you guys so much for clicking on this video and watching. If there's anything you guys like here from this pickup video, let me know. Reach out to me. Comment down below. Maybe we can work a deal out. Uh, maybe someone's going to want those Trey Lances. I certainly hope so. But we're just going to have to wait and see what the future of Trey Lances market looks like in the coming days and weeks post his ankle injury but that is going to do it for this video guys please make sure you smash the thumbs up button comment down below and if you haven't considered already please hit that giant red subscribe button as i would greatly appreciate the love and support for the channel that is going to do it for this video and if you did enjoy this video i have an excellent video right here all queued up for you guys that i do strongly believe is going to be excellent for your sports card journey and hopefully i'll see you there